Hi, I'm Tony Morgan. I'm going to share with you my story and how I arrived in this industry. I'm going to show you my ups and downs, the roller coaster ride that I had to endure to get to where I am today. At age 16, I wanted to be a bus mechanic, but luckily for me, I failed a test to get in. So, with my tail between my legs, I went back to school. With sixth form education looming, my careers officer said to me, Tony, why don't you do a CITB plumbing course? I said, plumbing? That's unblocking shitty toilets. But I thought about it. And I said, it's better than being stuck in sixth form education. So I did the CITB course. But at the same time, I had a friend who'd done another CITB course, but in flooring. And this friend would be a massive influence in my life. Anyway, I worked really hard, hoping that I'd be taken on at the end as a proper plumbing apprentice. The letter arrived in the post. I opened it with gut-wrenching apprehension. I couldn't believe what I was reading. I'd been offered a full apprenticeship. No, it wasn't working for Alan Sugar. The company was Young, Gosson & Young. I was ecstatic, jumping for joy. I was a proper apprentice. Someone had given me a chance. This would become a big market in my life. So as part of the apprenticeship, we went to college on block release. I knew I was in the right place, doing the right thing, and this inspired me even more. I worked really hard. I was at the top of the class. I got distinction after distinction. The teachers, they feared me because I questioned them to death. I just wanted to learn, learn, learn. Now this become another big mark in my life because of continuous development. And while working on site, I gained another important marker. And that's these big corporate companies with nothing but a number. I noticed some of the plumbers weren't on site. I asked, where's Jack and Pete? Oh, they're being fired, was the reply. I asked why, and they said, it's the end of the contracts. I thought, wow, is that what's gonna happen to me? I'm nothing but a number. I didn't like that one bit. However, that's exactly what happened to me. So at age 21, off I went to sign on a dole. After one week of being on a dole, I got a job. But this job, I didn't have the skills. I was totally out of my debt. I had sleepless nights. I earned jack shit from it. And guess what? I got fired. And it's back to the job centre. I got another job at a small plumbing company. But they were a bunch of cowboys. No, I lasted there for about a year. Then I got a job at the city council. I was promoted to the emergency plumbing section. I got my own van and it was a real cushy number. Just a quick sidetrack. Do you remember the old friend I had? He'd done a CITB course in flooring. Well, he got a new job too. You will see how closely we developed through our lives. Anyway, back to my story. I had a growing problem. I didn't like being told what to do. I wanted to be my own boss. I noticed the plumbers working at the council, they were just doing the same job day in, day out. I thought to myself, nah, this ain't for me. At around the same time, I discovered I had a friend who served his apprenticeship at Young and Young like me. And the funny thing was, we both were fired at the same time, we both ended up at the council. So after a couple of years, we both agreed to go into business together. So I decided to hand in my notice. Some of the plumbers, they tried to talk me out of it. They said, Tony, why are you leaving? You're crazy. You've got a job for life. And I knew this. And I also knew to myself, this is what I got to do. I want to do this. I've made my mind up. However, my mate didn't. His bottle went. He wouldn't take the risk. Now in life, you have to take risks if you want to succeed. 
It's like shooting this video now and massively out my comfort zone and pushing out the boundaries for me to succeed. You can't let fear hold you back. So in 1989, I set off into the business jungle. Now for some more freakiness. Remember the friend who'd done the CITB course in flooring? Well, he went into business around the same time as me. But he had a more cautious approach to surviving in the business jungle. We were total opposites. Back to me. When I started my self-employment, I decided to go into general plumbing and building. I became a jack of all trades and a master of none. However, I did invest in a property. I bought an old terrace in Clayton, on the corner it was, and I made it into an office downstairs and a flat upstairs and I rented it out. After years of making mistakes after mistakes, the biggest mistake of all was for me to lose focus. I got ripped off for 35,000 pounds. I supplied and fitted 16 apartments with plumbing and heating. I paid for all the labor. I got all the materials on credit and a builder, he went bankrupt. I never got paid one penny. I was so gutted, I was destroyed at that point. In my short time of running my own business, suddenly it became an effing nightmare. Most people would have gone bankrupt or they would have had a nervous breakdown, but I didn't. I didn't let this stop my vision. I paid back the suppliers over time and I just had to soldier on. I rethought my future and I decided to drop the plumbing and building and turn my sights into the central heating market. I went on all the boiler manufacturers courses all over the country. And guess what? All those teachers, they were also questioned to death too. Also, I learned about IT. I went on business development courses. I just wanted to put all that disaster behind me. From there, I met my one and only business partner. And in 1999, A&R was formed. There was more hell to pay. The partnership didn't work out. Basically, I was running a company on my own. This so-called business partner, he was supposed to work weekends and Saturdays like me. He just wanted to spend more money than he's earning. He was just milking the company. With continuous arguments about his lack of input, things just came to a head. And that's when he responded to trying to destroy A&R. The situation was like living in hell. The company's bank account was frozen. I couldn't pay suppliers. My partner, he took me to court, telling suppliers not to deal with A&R, that they was gonna go bust. How the hell did I get out of that? First, he lost the court case, I won. While the company account was frozen, I opened a sole trader account so I could carry on trading to pay the suppliers and the employees. The staff, they stayed loyal to me because I knew who was really driving the company. And this experience made me realize that I had resilience, determination and drive to overcome all roadblocks that were in my way. This was a very, very important lesson. These qualities were the single reason why I never gave up and why A&R didn't go bankrupt. At this point, I was in a lease. It was in Lavengeam on Stockport Road. The lease had came to an end and I decided not to renew it. So I moved back to my old office in Clayton, what I rented out. This is when I looked into franchising and I got involved with some so-called franchise experts who took me for a ride. And I lost another 10 grand. But I did learn a lot from this experience and most importantly, I knew I had to create a unique product or service I could replicate over and over. And that's been my goal since then. Also, during this time in my life, at a network meeting, I was to meet the person who would drastically change my future by becoming my mentor and still is my mentor today. All people in business need some sort of a mentor, people you can trust and bounce ideas off. About a year later, 
I was tipped off about some industrial units what would been built in Openshaw, which would be perfect for my vision and expansion. I took a look and said to myself, this is a risk, but a risk worth taking. With my entrepreneur brain in full flow, I did some simple maths. I simply redirected the funds from my pension into the business loan. And this helped me to purchase the unit. And the reason why I did this was to spread the risk from pension to property. So I took the risk and sold my old office and bought a new one. With a far larger office, my vision was to run two companies from the same address. My thoughts turned to British Gas. Visualising one day I would have an image as big as them. So I began to work on my image so I would become like a corporate company too. Think big. I'd now built up A&R with six vans on the road, mainly carrying out central heating and boiler installations. It all seemed great. Remember the friend who was working at the council who wouldn't go into business with me? Now, he was eventually working for me. But the main problem was, I just wasn't making enough money on the installations. I had to get rid of some of my vans and some men. Then I focused my attention to the boiler repair market. At this point, morale's going down. I'm having bad staff problems. I'll give an example. I'm in Jamaica on holiday, on a beach. I get a phone call from one of my main employees for 10 years, and she said this, this is the God's truth. Tony, I'm leaving. What? When I get back, I won't be here. I'm going to work for your accountant. I couldn't believe it. My holiday, I was just so pissed off. Anyway, I get back, I get on the phone to the accountant. I kicked off, but it just didn't make no difference. The was wasn't listening, so I just had to get on with it. And that's life. This is how things go. We have to move on and keep going and never give up. Then I had more problems. Remember that friend who worked me at the council, who I'd employed? He was a nightmare as well. He was confrontational, argumentative all the time. And in the end, I had to get rid of him and it just wasn't good. That was a terrible experience, but it had to be done. On a more positive note, I did a bold step. I decided to go into the service contract business. There, I set up a separate company to run this sector. However, it was a frightening experience because of the high risk of guaranteeing parts and boilers should go wrong. But I said to myself, Tony, you can do this. And that's what I did. I'm used to taking risks. So I spread my risk and I formed a separate company called the Central Heating Independent Engineer Forum, known as Chief. And this would look after this sector. After changing direction into the bar repair market, I then employed new engineers but that didn't go to plan either. Approximately every year, an engineer would leave and then suddenly start trading against me. So I had to replace him. But the same thing happened over and over. I realised what was happening. I was training them too good. I was telling them too much. The mother thought, oh, I can do what Tony can do. And off they went. This would become a big marker in my life again because this was the point where Coach Tony Morgan was born. At this point, I was working on my own, supporting my business with just one member of staff. But thanks to my entrepreneurial mindset, I already set up my service contract business to help me through the tough times. This would be the backbone of my survival. And the funny thing was, due to my corporate image, customers didn't spot the difference. They never knew about me downsizing and it did not interfere the level of service. However, there was more dark days to come. In my private life, things weren't very good there either. In this part of my life, my relationship came to an end with my ex-partner and the mother of my two kids. So I moved out with just my clothes and my TV. Anyway, I found an apartment, fully furnished it was, and I moved in with my friend. 
but this so-called friend turned out to be nothing but a con man. I lived there for about nine months and towards the end of the tenancy, I got a nasty shock. And it was the landlord who called me and said, Tony, I've got a problem. I said, what? You owe me £3,000 in rent. I said, you're joking. I've been paying my rent by standing order. The landlord said, I know, but the problem is your friend hadn't been paying his half. I knew my flatmate was shady. He asked me for £10,000, but I said, no chance. I didn't tell him to that into his face, but I said, no, because I knew he was going to pay me back. That's why I was actively looking for a new apartment, because I thought, I can't be around this guy. Luckily, I found one and I got the F out of there real fast. Then, in 2008, came the credit crunch. I just purchased my new apartment and I was still paying for the mortgage where my ex and the two kids lived. With a global business downturn, A&R had took a nosedive. In order for me to survive, I had to sell my pride and joy. It was my BMW 330M Sport. I couldn't afford the payments, I was just broke. The bills, it was just like hell. The VAT man, the tax man, creditors. It just got too much. I just thought, I can't, I can't carry on. I'm gonna have to go bankrupt. I would have done if it wasn't for my friend, the best friend, the one who I knew from the age 11, the one who started out with me on a CITB course. The one who's still my best friend today and my mentor. He told me not to give up. He gave me that belief I could do it. It was like a plane nose diving. And all of a sudden the pilot pulls up the plane to avert certain death. We all need the right people around us. We can't do these things on our own. It's like airline pilots. They never fly alone. There's always somebody there if something should go wrong. Brokers F. The only thing I could afford was to contract hire a van. With the credit crunch in full swing, depression had set in. My mindset was affected. My interaction with customers had taken a hit. I was getting complaints after complaint about my attitude. Subconsciously, my behavior wasn't doing me any favors. I was ignorant to it all. In fact, somebody said, you're ignorant. My best friend, he warned me all about this, but I didn't listen. About 18 months later, after the breakup with my ex, I met the woman who would change my life. I knew this woman was class, but at the time, mentally and financially, I wasn't in a good place. I told her about my financial situation, but she just gently said these words, we'll just have to rough it for a bit. And that made me feel so much better. She was neither materialistic or judgmental. She had a kind heart. I knew I had to step up in order to keep her. She gently pointed out my ignorant ways and more or less, she gave me the inspiration to elevate myself. Also, I had another friend who gave me some CDs called The Law of Attraction and The Secret. After analyzing this material, I came to a profound realization. For things to change for me, I would have to change. So I got into personal development and started working on myself. After doing this, my whole way of thinking started to change. Also, there was another person and it was my barber. I've known him for about 20 years and he was a very knowledgeable person and very, very wise. The three key people were my barber, my best friend, and my copywriter. Also, my girlfriend, she had a real 
big influence in my drive to succeed. So within 12 months, I could clearly see a pathway for me to rebuild myself and my business. With more and more personal development, my confidence was increasing. I noticed I was getting on better with customers. I noticed a pattern developing, how to generate rapport within 30 seconds. This was a real game changer, how to develop business. The only way was up. A year or so had passed, and as well, now I'm to working on myself. I was following people like James Norman, Tony Robbins, Bob Proctor, Darren Hardy, Corey Wayne. I soon realized these typical engineers, they had the wrong attitude towards their customers. They would say things like, my customers always F me about, or my customers, they're a pain in the butt. They just seem to have the whole world on their shoulders. Moody and bad tempered people. Also at this time, I was in the early stages of creating my business model. I knew these bad tempered guys would benefit from my business system. I said to myself, I will be the living example that this business model works. I could see my conversion rate increasing as was my service contract base. My five-star Google reviews were the highest in the area. The closest was nearly 400 behind me. I was trying to show to these engineers how it would work for them, but they just wouldn't listen. I remember going on a Facebook group. It was for engineers. This was terrible. There was laughing, joking, taking the piss out of me. In fact, they was that bad. They went on company's house, pulling up material about me, just laughing. It was terrible. After the ordeal, I was depressed for about a week. Honestly, it was just so bad. But then, I just thought about it. These guys, they're just set in a ways. They're afraid of change. And it's true what they say. You can't teach an old dog new tricks. So I began to think, you know what? I said to myself, what about new engineers? They ain't got no bad habits. Then a really freaky thing happened. And this happened on a few occasions. A few days later, I was approached by one of my friends who used to play football with. At football, they'd call me Tony Torres because of the cool striker. Anyway, he said, you do buy repairs, Tony, don't you? And I said, yeah. Why? Well, you can help me with my gas portfolio. I said, what's a gas portfolio? I need to get evidence on servicing gas appliances in the real world. The next thing he was about to say would totally change my business direction. I've Googled gas portfolio and I couldn't find it anywhere. It wasn't on the internet. So the old person could think of was you. I said yes and I did it for free. Then he said to me, Tony, I think you're gonna make a lot of money out of this. I asked him about the format of the gas portfolio information he needed. He then provided me this so I could then create the gas portfolio section on the main website. However, I wasn't sure how much to charge, but decided to go in a low rate anyway, and just to see what happened. And I just waited for the phone to ring. Well, I started to get customers. The gas portfolio training was time consuming, but I enjoyed it. I was getting great feedback on what I was doing. In fact, I was gobsmacked some of the candidates said, you're doing a brilliant job, Tony, but you're not charging enough. Wow, I thought. To me, this is normal. Provide excellent service to my candidates. It's who I am. My prices, they just went up. They just kept coming and the feedback was brilliant. My mentors and my girlfriend pushing me. 
I realized the potential. So I formed my own YouTube channel where I created and uploaded videos on gas portfolio and boiler repair advice. I continued to train more and more engineers and continued uploading more and more videos to YouTube. The freaky thing I noticed about these engineers, we all seem to be connected in some shape or form. We all seem to have the same mindset, the same belief systems. I was attracting the same like-minded people. And this was just a fantastic thing. Just like the law of attraction, lots of weird coincidences were happening. It was unbelievable. The other candidates, they noticed it as well. I noticed that these engineers, candidates, they're all saying the same story. Nobody was willing to help them. Some of them were searching for months and months. The energy I was putting out in my YouTube channel was attracting these guys. They was welcoming it with open arms. The moody and bad-tempered engineers, they failed to spot the potential of the gas portfolio market. But you know what? That meant less competition for me. Not only had I discovered a gap in the market, I discovered myself and who I was meant to be, helping people to become more successful and a stepping stone in the creation of Coach Tony Morgan. After my first year in doing the gas portfolio building, spring 2017, one of the candidates came up with a fantastic idea. Lots of candidates were giving me great ideas. It was brilliant, it was all part of the team spirit. You become more powerful being in a team than you could be ever being on your own. Anyway, due to the candidates being in different parts of the country, one of them came up with a great idea, Steve. And he said, why don't you do a webinar? I said, what's a webinar? I've never done one before. I began to think about this and the more and more I thought about it, the more apprehension was in myself because I knew what I would have to become and that would be a leader. But I didn't feel that I had the qualities to be a leader. I knew I had to go outside myself to find these qualities and these skills, what I needed. But I said to myself, Tony, you can do this. If you put your mind to it, you can do anything. So what I did, I went on Google, found that information there, then I went on YouTube to find out how to make webinars. But the problem was for me, finding this information just created more and more work, more and more pressure to find out how to present, how to make scripts, how to do everything to do with webinars. On top of this, I run my business as normal and training gas portfolio guys, showing them how to do this, how to do that. It was just, I don't know how I got through it, but I managed to take this mammoth task on. On top of all that, I had a major problem. The fear of public speaking, the fear of getting things wrong, I've never done anything like this before. I was totally out of my comfort zone. But what I did, I knew deep down I could do this. This is why I'm doing this video now. If I didn't overcome them challenges and fears, I couldn't do this, what I'm doing right now. So, you can see, I'm the living proof it can be done. Thankfully, I'd help. It was my copywriter. She helped me with all the copywriting. She helped me overcome my fears about the public speaking, about getting it wrong. I practiced and built up my confidence. And as I said before, we need the right people around us to get through these things because we can't do it on our own.
So by June 2017, I was ready to do my first ever gas portfolio webinar. I had about 10 candidates ready. It went off really, really good. I did about 10, say about nine different subjects, all about the a and business model. We started the webinars on a Wednesday, 8 p.m. sharp. Some of the candidates couldn't make it, but it didn't matter because I recorded it and emailed it to them. It was a bit like catch-up TV. However, it was mentally draining. The preparation of forward thinking for the week after, I was always at to be top of my game. The main takeaway I got from the production of these webinars, it took drive, determination, patience, charisma, and the ability to listen to others so I could become a leader. The a and business model, there's nothing like it on the planet. Firstly, most businesses make the man at the top filthy rich and the man at the bottom is piss poor. With my business model, the riches are spread between the engineer team network. So this setup, it's a win-win for all concerned. It's designed to transform any gas safe engineer out there to become a boiler entrepreneur. This business model will accelerate your business growth. What normally takes you six years will just take you two years. You'll learn how to do business properly, generate multiple income streams. You'll be able to scale your business up and down to match market trends. Be more confident, gain more charisma, become more persuasive, increase your people skills, increase performance, and have less stress running your business and more. Now, you can do your own research on this one. If you just pick 10 random engineers driving about, 80% of them will have the mobile phone number on the van. This means the following, a one-man band, they do the call answering themselves, they'll lose a lot of business in the winter, and they're gonna be highly stressed in the winter. And they probably won't give good customer service either. Also, 70% of these 10 random engineers will display their name on their van in a large typeface and their company name in a small typeface. They also won't have a, their company name displaying their logo. Instead, they're gonna display the gas safe logo. This means the following. They don't really understand business. They don't understand the power of image. They're setting their ways and they think they know it all. Now, this scenario of the average engineer occurs right across the UK. The average customer out there has to deal with this on a daily basis. So, it doesn't take a rocket science to work out that these customers are crying out for the masterful engineer. The type of engineer who's gonna give them a highly professional service and customers, they're prepared to pay for it. Like I said, there's no business model on the planet that's gonna give you all this for next to nothing. I guarantee this business model will work for any engineer who is open to learning and who is serious about running a professional business and wants to make good money. With this life changing business model, within two years, you're going to accelerate way past those ignorant engineers who think they know it all. Your first step is to sign up for the Masterful Engineer program at www masterfulengineer.co.uk. Here, you will start by focusing on the business mindset training. They are six sections that you must complete. You're gonna to need to allow yourself at least four to six months for the information to sink in by practicing of the principles set out. When you're mentally ready to go on a body repair training with either me or one of the team members, there will be a short waiting period. So the sooner you book, the sooner you're gonna guarantee your place. From there, you'll learn the bulk of your business model over the next five months. From there, we'll be ready to launch your bar repair business in your local area. We'll set up a marketing strategy 
so your business hits the ground running. Website, SEO, social media presence, band signage, company uniform, business cards, boiler stickers, flyers, and more. You will be still continuously learning and developing throughout your training. You'll have the support of the head office. You'll have myself. You can refer to your videos and you can also liaise with your other team members. I mentioned earlier about scaling your business up and down. The other great attribute to this model, you will be able to help other people follow your path. Here's a real life situation about this business model. Last year, Gillam, he was basically the first engineer who had trained. He's gone through the business model, he's all up and running. Now we're gonna go through his development and you're gonna see exactly how this business model is gonna unfold. So Gillam's completed his training and he's returned back to Birmingham. It's about, been about six months now. Now in that six months, he's had a massive impact in his local area. His development has been phenomenal. So Gillam's about to start doing the same process. He's gonna train him initially for the first month and then he's gonna employ him for the four month period. With this extra manpower, Gillan can take on extra business throughout the busy period. So after that period is finished, the engineer what's done his training with Gillan can return back to his local area where we can then launch his business. So this means at the end of the season, Gillan can scale his business down again. So the next year, he can repeat the process. He can scale back up by training maybe one to two engineers and take on more business. And this situation can be repeated over and over. And the same goals for all engineers throughout the network. And to me, this is the reason why this is the ultimate business model. Experienced engineers who have the right mindset, they're also welcome to join us as they can add this scalability into their business too. So if you're an experienced engineer and you're interested in this life-changing system, simply sign up to the Masterful Engineer program. Now, we're going to hear from Gillen himself. As you know, he's already running his own business using this business model. What I think about and our business model is um, it's a very good um, business model and very good opportunity. It was very good opportunity for me and I think it's a very good opportunity for all the engineers out there. Doesn't matter if they're new in the trade or existing ones. And I can try and explain why. Um, that's because um, uh, not long ago, I, I knew nothing about boilers, nothing about that trade. And where I am now, and what I'm doing now, it's a proof that that business model works, it really works, and um, it's a really good one. Um, basically, um, I'm new in the um, in the trade. Um, I've I've been through the whole process of the business model. Um, I've done my portfolio, I've done my training. Now uh, I'm back in my area and started my own business. And um, it's doing very well, it's very successful. And um, all that is, is, is proof. As I said, not long ago, I knew nothing about boilers and now uh, I'm running my own, my own business. Um, I'm earning a good money. Um, yeah, it's a very, very good opportunity for everybody. How my development was affected by the mindset training is, um, it, it, it gave me that um, belief and confidence that um, I can go and do it all on my own um, on the beginning when I was training with Tony and uh, he was talking to me and he was always telling me that um, I can I can uh, be an entrepreneur I can go on my own 
and make the things happen. Before that, I've never thought I can do that. Uh, I, I didn't have that uh, self-confidence, I didn't have that belief, but he, he um, showed me that, uh, that I can really do it. He gave me that self-confidence, he, he gave me that belief, and I believed in him, and I did it. And um, now I, I'm all on my own, running my own business, very successful one. Um, now uh, this winter I'm going to have a guy working for me. Um, and all these guys, um, I, I used to uh, ask them for help with my portfolio, but they didn't want to uh, help me. And now they're working for me. And that's how, because I followed that um, path, I believed that I can do it. Uh, I, 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 I've got that self-confident now. The training in Italian is fantastic. It's tough and it's comprehensive. And that's because of the way you learn and the way that Tony is teaching you. It gives a pressure on you. It puts a pressure on you, but you learn and you learn very fast. On my training, when I was with Tony, uh, I took on jobs that I would never be able to do my, to, to, to take them on my own. Very complicated jobs, uh, and I did I did them, um, and that gave me self confidence, confident, and belief that I can I can do that kind of jobs, and that's because of the way Tony was showing showing me how to complete the jobs. Uh, how, um, for example, to handle a tool, and I followed everything, and I did, and now I can, I can, I can go on my own and do same complicated jobs, and I've got that self-confidence and belief. Using the ANR system is uh, a lot easier than to go on your own and that's because um, there is a, ro a lot of support around you um, for example we've got a call center which answers the phone calls um, you've got support from Tony every time when I, when I struggle on a job I can always call him and ask him for, su for, for support and um, things like that makes the, the things a lot easier for, for me and I, I, can all, I can only con concentrate on, on the jobs what I'm doing and that's especially in the busier period in the winter when it's very very busy and that took a lot of pressure uh, of you. How I see the future of ANR growing is um, Tony trained me um, I'm going to train someone else and he's going to go on his own. Now, after that, he's going to train somebody else. And the way that is structured, it's growing really fast. And very soon it's going to be something huge. I would recommend to the engineers to join the ANR business model like how I did. Um, just over a year ago, I was in a position of trainee. I was training with Tony. And now I'm running my own successful business. So I would recommend to them to follow my steps and do the same thing. And next, we're gonna hear from Isaac. Isaac's just started his bar repair training. So you can hear from him on his thoughts so far. What I think about the ANR business model is that um, the model is a great and fantastic model in the sense that um, 
it takes someone that is um, actually thinking to come up with a brilliant idea like that, which I've told Tene that um, with, that, with that level of thinking, he's, he's come up with something very great. And um, everybody I've spoken to about this model, they've been like, wow, it's, um, it's great, it's, it's, it's interesting, it's something that can elevate someone that is in the engineering field from a very um, starting level like myself, a newbie, to a, a point whereby it will, it's going to accelerate your development and you gain experience as quickly as possible in, like, in the sense that engineers out there, most of them have been working like five, six years or in this model, it's very, very certain that you're going to like catch up on time and you get, um, get very, very rapid experience within a space of maximum two years, the way it's been set up. Then again, it's um, all about um, you coming in as a newbie and um, you go through the training with um, Tony, which he always does personally himself. He takes you out to boilers, shows you what to do, gives you the awareness, gives you everything hands-on so that you won't be making mistakes when you're on your own. Then after the old training, you will now work for like four or five months on your own, which is the stage I'm in now at the moment. I'm working on my own. He has built my confidence to a level whereby and my, level, my confidence wasn't like that before, but now I've got this um, built-up confidence in me and I've been able to like um, go out and get jobs done. Then again, after the old, um, the old training and the old working experience, the model has been set up in a way that um, it's going to give you the opportunity to set up your own business. And you don't, need just, you don't have to go out there and you're on your own. You're still connected to Tony, to the, to the model, in the sense that um, everything you've learned, everything he has taught you, you put it into, into play and it works for you. We've seen it, it's working and that's how great and fantastic the model is. I think that's um, the little I can say at the moment. More, a, lot, a lot of other things to be said. I see the future of the business, in our business model grow um, in a way that is going to blow to the point whereby <laughs> Tony will be like blown away. He won't be able to control it anymore. He will be like, Did this come from me. Now, the reason why I'm saying that is the model has been set up in a way that Tony trains someone, now the person gets the full training, the full package, he goes on to start his own business. Starting his own business, the person now does the same thing, follow the model to the latter and don't take anything out of it, use it the way it's been set. Then when you use the model like that, the person uses the model, he trains another person, that's the second generation, that's the second generation. Then the person that has been trained goes on again on his own to set up his own business and follow the model. At the end of it all, you now have chains and chains of trained engineers with the same mindset, because another thing is the mindset, with the same mindset and the business keeps growing. Then at the end of it all, you now find out on the map of England, for in, of, of UK for instance, you now see dots and dots and dots of now boilers all around scattered across the, the UK. So I think it's going to be <laughs> beyond worlds because um, it's going to be as, as, as high or better than British gas that we see today. That's, that's where I say it. And that's where I'm here because I believe in the future and I believe in the dream. Okay, what I would recommend to anybody out there, an engineer, a newbie or an experienced engineer that wants to like have his own business and expand as quickly as possible is for the person to swallow their pride. Just like I've done, I've swallowed my pride in every way. I've brought myself down to the level of um, total humility and um, just come and get trained by Tony. He was going to give you everything he knows. He's not going to take anything away. He's going to show you how to deal with things, situations, how to be aware of your surrounding, your health and safety. He's going to teach you everything that you need to know. Your mindset, how to you know, talk to customers and all those kind of stuff. So if you are out there and you want to make something good for yourself, you want to have a beautiful career in the engineering industry, I would recommend that you come to the um, you come for the um, um, model training so that you can get yourself on track as quickly as possible. Swallow your pride and follow my steps. So, in conclusion, 
All what you've heard about me in this story is about my ups and downs. People who didn't believe in me, people who knocked me down, naysayers. All this has brought me to where I am today. Your comments and feedback will be much appreciated. Like I've been saying, we all need to learn to grow. For me, by believing in the only way is up is a direct result of this business and personal development system that works and the creation of Coach Tony Morgan. Thank you for watching. So, on a final note, if you're a new or an experienced engineer, we'd love to hear from you. Please click on the link in the description below to find out more.